to open the Google Drive application, touch the Google Drive icon on the home screen. In the right pane, we can see the folders and files that are stored on our Google Drive. If we open the curriculum folder, we can see all the files that are contained within. These folders contain the course PDF files. If we open the basic interviewing folder, we can see the PDF file inside. Let's go back to my drive and open up a file. Touch combine PDF to open the file. When you touch a file to open it, Google Drive downloads the file from your Google Drive account online and then passes it on to Adobe Reader to display the file. When you have a document open in Adobe Reader, if you touch anywhere on the screen, a menu pops up. After a few seconds, it goes away. So touch the screen to bring the menu up. Touch it again to make it go away. Let's go over some of the basic navigation in Adobe Reader. If you swipe on the screen from right to left, the document will move to the next page. If you swipe from left to right, it'll go to the previous page. If you want to zoom in on the document, put two fingers next to each other and spread them apart. If you want to zoom out of the document, put two fingers apart and pinch them together. You can also tap the screen twice to zoom in. And to zoom out, tap twice again. Let's take a look at some of the different view modes in Adobe Reader. Uh, let's look at continuous. Uh, what this view does is it stitches together um, every page in the PDF and makes it into one long document. It also shows a gray area on the right side by default. Now let's look at the single page view. Um, what this does is it separates every page. So when you swipe from right to left uh, to go to the next page, it'll show you one page at a time. If you swipe from left to right, it'll show you the previous page. And the final view mode is uh, text reflow. And what this does is it takes away graphics and it takes away uh, paragraph formatting. So what you're able to see is just pages that are full of text uh, and it minimizes the white space and it takes away graphics. So the text is the most important thing. So at the end of the training, if you want to send this curriculum to yourself, uh, touch the screen or bring up the menu and hit the share button. Scroll down to Gmail and you'll be taken to the screen to enter the email address that you want to send it to. So enter the address, hit done, and then touch the send button. Now you will have a copy of the curriculum in your email.